School shootings, 9-11, George Floyd, a child with cancer. How about natural disasters? Why did God allow that to happen? If God is all good and all powerful, then wouldn't he just get rid of pain and suffering in the world? And since he doesn't, maybe he's not all good. Maybe he's not all powerful. Either one is no good for you. See, maybe you stopped believing in God because something like that happened in your life and you said, I'm done. But what if the pain and suffering and injustice in the world doesn't disprove God's existence, but actually shows us our need for God? Jesus said each one of us is infected and affected by something called sin, which is simply the things that we think, say, and do that are hurting us, others, and are outside of God's plan for our lives in the world. And a lot of the pain that we see in the world is caused by individuals' choices to act outside of God's best for their lives. And sin has a decaying effect on individuals, societies, and the world as a whole. Which means that things like earthquakes, floods, tornadoes, they're signs of the decaying effect that sin has in the world. One day Jesus was talking to his friends about pain and suffering and he said, I've told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you're going to have trouble, but take heart because I have overcome the world. What if instead of turning away from God when the inevitable pain of life happens, you chose to take a step toward God to help you find freedom from the pain and sin that's infecting and affecting everything? It could be that you experience the peace that he offers in the midst of your pain.